بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو نیو آکسفورڈ ماڈرن انگلش فار کلاس سیون چیپٹر نمبر فائیو دا پوائم لنڈن سمر مارننگ ہیئر از آ ریفرنٹ ٹو دی کانٹیکسٹ دا فسٹ اینڈ دا ہو ہیز ناٹ واک ٹو بزی ساؤنڈس اینڈ دا اینڈنگ لائن فل ان دا ایئر ریفرنس These lines have been taken from the poem London Summer Morning written by Mary Robinson. Context London was the center of European and world trade and fill of people working hard for their livings. In the poem, the poet uses lists and lots of description to convey the sights and sounds of London. No explanation. Robinson begins her description of the unpleasant morning by describing the smoky streets and the soot-covered chimney by yelling out his business to start promoting early in the morning. Following the obnoxious yelling boy, noisy sounds of the wagons and carts and vendor begins to set up their shops. This brings upon a feeling of annoyance since many people are sleeping. Now the next one. Reference and context are the same. Now I will explain the stanza number two. Robinson changed the tune of the poem by changing her word choice. Fresh sprinkled and cools brings about the sense of relief in the poem. The barefoot people have been scratched by the hot sun and have receiving relief from the damp pavement. Along with sense of relief, readers are receiving a sense of appreciation of beauty of line 20 to 24. Robinson explains how scratching the sun is, the, is in the beginning of the poem, but then shows appreciation stating now the sun starts burning splendor of the glittering pane, save where the canvas awning throw a shade of the gray merchandise. This shows the beauty customers see in the store windows. The sun almost acts as an asset to the merchandise by dwelling, drawing the consumer's eyes to the glittering pane, displaying the beauty merchandise below. Now the last stanza. In the last stanza of the poem, Robinson makes a connection between the bag and the green abyss. This connection was hard to spot at first until you read our uh, section, starting with the old clothes man, the green abbey seemed to be a metaphor for the useless clothing and a sign that it was devolted that it would be uh, thrown away. But this verse actually was relating to the green abyss, to the color of the bag. If the suit was too used worn, then it was sink to the bottom of the bag because no one would want to buy it. This is only tricky spot in the poem I found as far as the hidden meaning of the object. This portrays a sign of annoyance in tone also in lines 18 through 20. The ruddy housemaid twirls her busy mop, annoying the smart apprentice of neat girl tripping and bad and band box lightly these two interactions are now listened listed close together in the poem which allows the reader the experience this tone through the poem the workers get annoyed with each other but they are not doing their jobs the busy atmosphere causes annoyances between the workers <laughs> 